And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Cesar Cornejo. Good morning. Jackson is actually still a pretty bit chilly at the moment. 44 degrees. It is pretty clear. You do have very light clouds, but those will really start to go away once the sun comes up. Luckily, of course, winds are calm. It is feeling a little bit humid compared to normally what it what it really feels like, but that's not much in anything different in the morning. Luckily, we are starting to see some of the sunrise finally coming around coming around over here in Pocatello. It is 50 degrees right now. It does feel a little bit on the cooler side. Luckily, there's not much in the way of winds and you'll definitely be able to, of course, enjoy the cooler evening before we do start to reach back up into the 90s coming up in the weekend. Luckily right now temperatures are sitting mostly around the 40s Driggs at 43. You do have Island Park at 48, 47 over in Blackfoot. And right now for most of the western of course part of the country, a lot of lower temperatures at the moment, 68 in Denver, Casper's at 62, but Phoenix 89, they're really warm right now and it's still pretty early. Hopefully they don't get too much warmer for us today. We do start off with cooler temperatures. Of course, that'll be one of the main things that we have today. The weekend starts off hot, but you'll see that it then lowers and of course starts off for a great work week. And as we check, of course, storm tracker, not much in the way of clouds. The clouds that are towards the upper highlands and western Wyoming are starting to, of course, lift as we go on and start to really warm up. Today, we do have temperatures sitting in the 80s around the Snake River Plain, 82 in Pocatello, 81 in American Falls. We do have certain 80 degree temperatures in, of course, uh, Chalice at 82. Salmon is not going to be that chilly. It's actually going to be 82 also. But then we go on to, of course, Western Wyoming. It'll sit around the mid 70s. Your lows for tonight will be, of course, in the 50s again. You'll see 49 in Driggs, 50 in Blackfoot, 50 over in Arco also. And of course, for your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast, we do see that today will be a much cooler day at 82 degrees. Saturday will be the hot day, unfortunately, 91. But then we become cooler of course, Sunday with 85 degrees to lead on to a much more relatively cooler Monday for the work week. And Idaho Falls will follow a similar trend. You do see a 90 degree day on that weekend. Of course, that'll be Saturday. Sunday will be in the mid 80s. It'll be breezy, but then it becomes quite comfortable. 80 degrees on Monday and it'll be perfect because it'll be sunny. Great way to start off the work week. The Teton area for Jackson, Afton and Driggs will, of course, relatively be cooler compared to the Snake River Plain. They will also have a breezier day on Sunday, 77 degrees, where winds can pick up and have some gusts up to about 30 miles an hour. So you're going to want to make sure to definitely be aware if you are driving. And of course, the Central Mountains will have a beautiful, of course, weekend, 89 degrees.